Well, folks, the wait is finally over. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have their guy. It has been reported by Mike Garofalo of the NFL Network that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are hiring former Seattle Seahawks quarterbacks coach Dave Canales as their new offense offensive coordinator. This was one of the top options that were left available and one of the top options in my own opinion. I really do like what Dave Canales brings to the table as an offensive coordinator here of the Buccaneers. You look back at his credentials, he has spent a lot of time with the Seattle Seahawks, specifically with Pete Carroll and his coaching staff, going all the way back to 2009 when he was an assistant strength coach for USC. He then joined the Seattle Seahawks coaching staff in 2010 and remained there until the current day. During his time in Seattle, he spent time as their wide receivers coach from 2010 to 2017, their quarterbacks coach from 2018 to 2019, their passing game coordinator from 2020 to 2021 before making the move back this previous season to their quarterbacks coach yet again. And I think that what we can expect from Dave Canales as the offensive coordinator of this Buccaneers team is definitely more balance in the offense. I'll probably make a separate video talking about Dave Canales and what he can potentially bring as an OC and more specifics of what the offense will look like. But you look at the time in Seattle, Seattle did a lot both as a passing offense and as a rushing offense as well. So I think that we will see a lot more balance in this Buccaneers offense offense than we have seen in seasons past. You also got to remember that Dave Canales, while he doesn't have necessarily any play calling experience at the NFL level, I joked in a previous video that he was an offensive coordinator for his high school back in 2004 and 2005, but aside from that, he doesn't have any play calling experience at the collegiate level or at the NFL level, but I do think that that can be made up you know, at least to a certain degree with some of the work that he has done as a quarterback's coach, as a wide receiver's coach, as a passing game coordinator in Seattle. We saw a great amount of success in that Seahawks offense with guys like Russell Wilson, wide receivers like DK Metcalf, Doug Baldwin, Tyler Lockett. Of course, Geno Smith, the, the things that he did this previous season, winning comeback player of the year. There was a lot of success in that Seattle offense for many, many years. And while some people can say, well, of course, Pete Carroll's calling the plays and whatnot, Dave Canales has a role in that. Of course he does. He's coaching the quarterbacks. He's coaching the wide receivers. He's coordinating the passing game the past couple of years in 2020 and in 2021. He is a part of the reason why those teams, why those offenses, those quarterbacks, those wide receivers were successful. He also brings some championship experience with him as well. He has been a coach on a Super Bowl coaching staff back whenever the Seahawks won against the Denver Broncos. So there are a lot of reasons to be excited about this hire, I believe. Myself, personally, I'm excited for this hire. Dave Canales at only 41 years old, I'm excited to see what he can bring. This may be a long time coming for Canales to finally show what he can do as an offensive coordinator in this league. He has learned from one of the best offensive minds of this modern generation of coaching in Pete Carroll, who has been able to do fantastic things with a lot of different pieces that you give him. If some of those things have translated to Dave Canales and what he can do as an offensive coordinator. I think the Buccaneers are certainly going to be in good hands. And what does this mean for potential quarterback situations? We'll have to wait and see. Again, I may make another video talking about that topic as well. I don't believe Geno Smith is going to be going anywhere. He is going to be the Seattle Seahawks quarterback, I imagine. But now the Buccaneers have their guy. They can work on developing guys like a Kyle Trask at the young quarterback developmental portion of things. If they want to bring in some veterans as well, or even possibly draft a quarterback, I feel like they have a really good guy that has a very good history at developing quarterbacks, developing wide receivers. The Buccaneers are going to need some younger wide receiver depth in there as well. Dave Canales has experience doing that as well. And I think the Bucks offense is ultimately going to be in some pretty good hands in my opinion. 
So what do you guys think about this hiring of Dave Canales? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions. I would love to hear them. Are you worried about the lack of play calling experience at any level for Dave Canales? It would be completely understandable as to why somebody may have some reservations about that. Myself, personally, I am very impressed with Dave Canales' credentials and I I do understand the concern with the lack of play calling, but for myself personally, I'm not necessarily too worried about it. You got to get your start somewhere, and it looks like Dave Canales' start will be here calling plays for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Thank you, folks, so much for watching this video. Hope y'all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.